Welcome to episode 23 of No BSTS. And in this one, we take a look at custom hooks, which is really one of my favorite topics. I'm really enjoying all the custom hooks that I've been creating lately, and I think it's a great way to get the most out of React, and TypeScript makes it just that much better. Now, let's take a look back in the code, and we created our own custom hook with use number, but yeah, it's not really that big of a custom hook. So what I wanna do is actually kind of pare down the example a little bit. It's getting a little bit long, and then uh, we'll go in refactor use to do, so it's actually quite nice. All right, first off, let's go and get rid of a bunch of this kind of stuff over here. Like I think this list can probably go, payload can probably go, and let's see. All right, I need that. All right, pretty good, okay. So up here, let's see, let's click. We don't need that anymore. And do I need this or this? Okay. I just want to get ready to just the kind of to do section of things. Okay. So let's start off by creating a new use to do's file. And we'll give it a TS extension on it. And then we'll start kind of copying over some stuff. So the first thing we want to do is bring over this user doozer since it's pretty much the heart of the to do's show. And we'll create a new exported function called use to do's. All right. And we'll drop that in there. Now it's got some problems already because we don't have user doozer from React. And we don't know what a to-do is, and we don't know what a action type is. So let's go and grab those as well. Great. Beautiful. Okay. So now we've got our to-dos. And what do we want to do? Well, first thing we want to do is uh, see if we want some initial to-dos. Initial to-dos. So that's going to be our incoming array. And we'll just use that as the seed type for our dispatch, our, our user reducer over here. There we go. Cool. And then coming out of this, we want a list of to-dos, which will be an array. And already it's telling us, well, you're not doing that, so let's do that. So let's do a return to-dos, right, just like that. And what we really want to do is we kind of want to hide dispatch. So what I'm going to do is create... New, two new functions, one called add to do and another called remove to do. So let's do that. Add to do. And in order to create a function and export it, my strong recommendation is to use a callback. So use callback. And in this case, we want to do uh, add to do, meaning that we need some text, which is going to be a string. And in that, so what are we going to append them on? Well, okay, so first off, let's just dispatch to a type of add with the text. All right, great. And do we have any dependencies? Well, no, because we really don't depend on much. So let's see. So we're going to take add to do and add it to our, our things that we return. And we'll go here and we'll say that we have a piece of text, which is a string, and we return a void. All right, are we good? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay. And then the other one is we want to do remove to do. We take an ID, which is a number. And in this case, we want to do that remove and give it the ID. Now all the logic for this is already in our use reducer up here, which is great. Let's see, so we also need remove to do, we need to pass that out as well. Remove to do takes an ID, which is a number, turns a void. Awesome, perfect. Okay, so let's actually bring this in. I don't think we're gonna need use reducer, but you know, we'll see. Okay, 
So import use to do's from use to do's. Look at that. Nice. Okay. Great. And we'll just must make sure that that's well, that's actually a named export. So we'll use that syntax and get used to do's. Awesome. All right. So now we can get rid of that. And we'll say equals use to do's. We're going to start off with an empty array of to do's. Actually, you know, let's, let's, you know, let's have some fun with this. Let's go put in a piece of ID is zero text is hey there. Just to know that we're using our thing and done is false. And now what do we get out of this? Well, we get out of it. Ha ha, we get to do's, add to do, and also remove to do. Nice, just like that. So let's see, add on add to do, what are we gonna do? Well, in, we don't have to do that dispatch anymore. We don't know what dispatch is. So let's go and just do add to do and give it the value, just like that. Ta-da! Okay, nice. And in fact, we can now reference add to do in here. So anytime add to do changes, and that's actually really important, uh, we will get a new callback. And the reason I say that it's important is that because add to do has no dependencies, that means every time that we go through this custom hook, which we will every single time app renders, we will not get a new add to do function. We'll get a reference to the original function because this hasn't changed. And we'll only get a new function when uh, this dependency changes and because it never does, it never will. Okay, so what are we doing with the remove to do? Let's go over here, remove to do, to do ID. All right, this is looking pretty clean. I like it. Okay, so, oh, <laughs> awesome. Okay, so get uh, burritos. Excellent. And we can remove and remove. Good to go. So this is a really nice factoring between the UI, which in this case is the app. So that's handling the, the ref for the HTML input, the rendering of the to-dos and everything else. Well, use to-dos over here is handling the logic of all that state machine, adding and removing and making sure that all the IDs are up to date. And you can easily unit test this as well. And it's all typed thanks to TypeScript. Okay, so I'm so excited about the next episode where we talk about generic components. I don't really see this one covered a lot and I think it is one of the coolest aspects of using TypeScript in the React context. So I can't wait to get into it, of course. But in the meantime, I would love for you to hit that like button if you like the video, share this video with your friends and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, click on the bell and you'll be notified the next time a new No BSTS video arrives.